<clears throat> Excuse me. I I'm sorry, we're not serving tea for another two hours. Can I help you at all? Oh, uh, golly. <gasps> Councillor Mrs. Pierce. Uh, oh, golly, well, um, has no one met you yet? No, I saw one or two other people, but they seemed rather busy. Oh, oh, yes. Well, Mr. Uh, Gosforth? Gosforth, yes. He did say in his letter, 2.15. Well, um, he should be about somewhere. He was. I'm in a carter. How do you do? It's very nice of you to come. Quite all right. Is your husband any better? Uh, he's not ill. Oh, I, I thought that's why he couldn't come. No, it's just he had some business to see. He couldn't get away at last minute. Oh, I see. So you'll have to put up with me, I'm afraid. Yes. No, no, not at all. We all tremendously appreciate your being here. Really, super, really. Thank you. That's all for a jolly good cause. Yes? I mean, it's just what this place needs, a new village hall. Did you pass the old one on your way here? You probably did. The weather does look a little threatening today. Yes, I do hope it doesn't rain. Keep up there, old boys. Oh, here's Mr Gosforth. Oh. Well, all you wolf cubs, come down about scabbling at once. This is your last warning. Bloody little vandals swarming all over us just like... Mr. Gosforth, this is Councillor Pierce. Oh, Lord. Hello. How do you do? Uh, Gordon Gosforth, so, so nice of you to come. Sorry I couldn't meet you. Having a bit of gyro crisis. Oh. We rented both these damn tents, you see. Hm. Uh, didn't quite open them until today. Didn't have the space, you see. Should be okay. Yes. Well, yeah, Millie, where is that damn man fair child of yours? He had to go on a call. Oh. Well, he better be back. Not a solitary thing is working. But that's the trouble of having the local quack as our local electrical expert. Hmm. Good bot got everything rigged up? All the, the entire sound system? Amplifier, wires, sound system, loudspeaker? Oh. Now not a bloody thing's working. Now he's gone off on some emergency. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. If he's not back before you make your speech, if he doesn't fix it, then nobody would bloody hear you. Oh, it sounds ominous. Anyway, darling. Yes, Gordon. These are some of the prizes for the races. Half a dozen bottles of sherry. Would you mind putting them under the counter for me so those damn wolf cubs won't get at them? Thank you. Advantages of running a pub, you see. Ready-made prizes already to hand. <coughs> Reverend! Over here, would you mind? There you go. Would you like a look around before we start? Uh, we have a few minutes, I think. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, Gosforth, I got some bad news. What's happened? I finally will let down by the Song Sheet Committee. Oh, help us. It's, Pardon the language. It's quite all right. Uh, the man who owned the duplicator has gone out of business. Oh, well. Uh, delete community singing and insert Community humming. Community humming? I like that. Yes. Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, I'm so sorry. Councillor Mrs. Pierce, this is John Braithwaite, our vicar. How do you do? How do you do? It's very kind of you to, to turn out. How is your husband? Better, I hope. He's not ill. Oh. Seriously? No, he's not ill. Ah, well, I thought you said he was ill. Well, there's a big difference between not ill and ill, isn't there? We wouldn't want to get those two mixed up now. <laughs> John, would you like to show Councillor Mrs. Pierce the lie of the land? Take her for a turn around the tombola? Of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. Delighted. Twelve speakers all strung around the field and not a squeak out of any of them. Would you like to follow me this way, Councillor? Of course. See you later. Ah, yes, indeed. And, and, and Bicker, would you mind telling those confounded wolf cubs to come down off that scaffolding? That was built for loudspeakers, you see. I will. I will. It's not designed to take that sort of weight, you see. Quite right. 
fact, it's not designed to take any sort of weight at all. Now then, how's my little Millie? All right? I think we're all right. Old Mr. Durbin is bringing the tea out over in a minute. Splendid. Now then. Oh, fuck that. Oh. Well, where should I start with this lot? Oh, well, the amplifier seems to be working. Oh, well, the light's on. Gordon. Just a second, lovey. I better start at the business end of work and work my way round. There's a loose connection somewhere. That's all it could be. Hello? Hello? One, two, three, four, five. Hello? Hello, where's that damn fiancé of yours? I don't know. Well, I'd wish he'd stick around. He can help me sort out all of this. He's never around when you need him. All of his wolf cubs are running amok. Gordon, have you got a minute, please? Does it look as if I've got a minute? It's frightfully urgent. All right, old girl. All right. You carry on. I'll just keep fiddling. Well... Uh-huh. Ah, yes? Yes. Did you say pregnant? I'm frankly sorry. Me? There's no one else it could have been, Gordon. Oh, my God! I'm really awfully sorry. What are we going to do? Well... What am I going to say to Stuart? Oh, my word. He'll be dreadfully upset. Yes, I can see he might, yes. We re might refuse to marry me. Well, yes, I can see he might. Yes! I don't know what to do. Don't worry, Millie. We'll sort this out. Are you absolutely sure? Yes. Right, well, this needs thinking about. What's Stuart going to say when he finds out? What's this going to do to him? Everyone knows we're engaged. How's he going to face his cubs? Well, he's a good bloke. Well, he's a scout, isn't he? He's pretty decent. Now listen, Millie, we must just get through today first, all right? Then we'll talk things over. Yes. Don't worry. No. You're not to worry. We'll sort everything out. Now you get all your tea organised and I'll see if I can get this thing to one, two, th Ah, success! It works. Don't know what it was I did, but... Huh. How long's that been on for? It's a very good point. Stuart! You bastard, Gosnor! Hello, old boy! I mean, you complete and utter bastard! Keep calm, Stokes, man! I'm going to kill you. Stokes, keep calm! With my bare hands! I warn you, Stuart, this is life! Well, switch it off, switch it off, you I, coward! I don't know how to switch it off! I mean, don't you think it's bad enough? I don't think you've done enough that I hear my, my, my fiancé is pregnant by another man. But when you announce it, hmm, I've four acres of field and in front of in front of all of my cubs. I am sorry, Stuart. I, I am sorry. <laughs> well, you know, there are brownies out there as well, you know. This is still life, man. But switch it off, man. I don't, I don't know. know. Come here. Steady. Switch it off. Really, turn it off. Switch it off. Get off. Turn it off. It's off now. It's oh. off now. It's off. Thank God. Stuart, we'll talk about this later. No, I don't want to talk about this later. I don't want to talk about this at all. Please, Stuart, it is no help to anyone getting an estate. She's quite right, old man. She's, she's quite right. It's full of acres. Steady, steady, Stuart, old boy. Just, just, we'll, just sit down. We'll all have a sit down later and we'll sort this out. <laughs> Millie, clap over to one of those bottles of mine. Give him a glass of sherry. I don't drink. Hey, you know I don't drink. You're in need of one now, Stuart, old boy. Yes. Millie? Yes, just a minute. Excuse me. What is it now? Were you aware that your ill tidings were being broadcasted? Yes. Good John. We were aware. I see. Dreadfully sorry. Yes. Thank you, John. Thank you. So sorry, Millie. There goes your reputation of being spinster of this parish. That's not funny, Gosfall. Sorry, old boy. Sorry. Here. Ah, here we are, old boy. Drink up, then. Drink up. Maybe he, sh he should lie down in the first aid tent. Uh, 
I don't want. I don't want to lie down. The first eight tent isn't up yet. Someone swiped one of their poles. I've still got things to do. What? Well, I haven't made the platform yet. You haven't? Oh, Lord! Oh, what platform? Well, the platform upon which Council Mrs. Pierce is going to make her speech well, 20 minutes ago. That has to be finished. Can't start at all otherwise. Can't someone else? No. No, no, no. I'll, I'll do it. Because I always do it. Oh, no. Here comes the wretched rain. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. No one's going to turn up and everybody that's here is going to go home. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Like a monsoon. Hang on. I'll try raising their morale and try keeping them here. Tom. And this is only a short shower, I assure you. If you'd like to make your way to the main marquee to shelter, I, I repeat, it's only a short shower. Hey. I don't think that convinced anybody. Oh, heavens. What is it now? I left the biscuits out the back. I wouldn't drink too much of that if I were you, old boy. <laughs> Not if you're not used to it. Go to hell, boy. You pass it. The platform's getting a bit damp, old boy. Would you like some help dragging it in? Go to hell, Gospel. You swine! Ladies and gentlemen, I seem to have brought the wrong weather with me today. But this is an occurrence for once you can't blame on me or the Conservative Party. It reminds me very much of a saying my husband is very fond of quoting. The rain in Spain may indeed fall mainly on the plain, but what's left of it seems to fall mainly on Kent. Joking apart, I don't want this to turn into a political occasion in any way. Since since we have been in control of our council, I think you will all have to agree with me. The Conservatives have made startling progress. Progress not only for the rich among you, but for the not so well off. Not only for the rich man at his castle, but the poor man at his gates. If I may, I'd like to take a look at the recent records of council housing. Over 300 new houses in less than two years. Compared, I may remind you of the previous Labour, best of only 250. In other words, 100% increase. Startling indeed.